Hello church, the sun is out again, it is lovely and warm and I do hope you're enjoying it. Just been reflecting on the weekend we've just had and it was great to connect with Wayne once again and to meet his wife Lucy as they came and ministered to us through Go and Tell Ministries. We had over 40 people attend the workshop on Saturday and Wayne and Lucy shared some really important foundational simple truths about how we can be uh, a witness, how we can evangelise in the everyday. We then broke down into groups, many of us represented an outward focus group so we had some great conversations as Wayne had encouraged us to think about and consider what makes our group different to a similar group outside the church. Or how can we increase the gospel presence, the witness within our outward groups? And already I'm getting feedback with some really good conversations, some actions agreed and some things that will start to change. Later on in the afternoon, around 15 of us went into the park uh, to share God, to talk about Jesus. We served drinks, uh, we welcomed people in in. And every one of us had great conversations. As we came back in, we commented how how most people were very open, were very willing to listen. And actually, the vast majority of people got to pray for somebody else. There was great, great energy in the room as we came back and shared. And we felt really encouraged. Wayne said an important thing over the weekend. He said a number of important things. He said, not everyone is an evangelist, but everyone is called to evangelise. And a lot of us kind of went, "Mm, yeah, you know, it's that thing that, yes, um, you're an evangelist, but I'm not. In 2 Timothy 4, verse 5, Paul encourages Timothy to do the work of an evangelist. It's as though he's recognising that that wasn't Timothy's gifting, but it was still important that as a follower of Jesus, he evangelised. He witness, he he share what has happened in the transformation of his life. One of our vision points is that everyone is engaged in some form of evangelising to others. And there's no end of different ways we can do that. It's going to look different for different people. What's important is that we create an, an opportunity to build a relationship with people. For many of us, this will be opening up our groups and welcoming people to come in and be a part of our group. And as we get to know them, we can share the love of God, we can understand their needs, and we can walk with with, with them. For for others, it will be your workplace or your social group is a great harvest field for you. And as you live a humble, godly life, and as you dare to talk about Jesus with them, opportunities happen when uh, Wayne said again when you talk the gospel the gospel happens but we've got to be willing to talk about it again for others it may well mean connecting with people on the streets or in the park welcoming them into a conversation getting to know them offering to pray for them or seeking to help meet a need what I do know Especially for those of us who say, yep, I'm not an evangelist, but okay, I need to evangelise, is that we need to be bold. Again, Paul in 2 Corinthians 3, he's talking about the hope we have in Christ and he says this. Since we have such a glorious hope and confident expectation, we speak with great boldness. Church, we know what we know. We know what Christ has done with us. We know how he sees us. We know that he equips us, that he stays with us. Therefore, we can speak with great boldness. If I had one conversation with you over the weekend, I had 10. And it went something like this. I don't do this evangelism. I'm not very good at just talking to people about Jesus. And then I saw some some people go out and do it anyway. If this is something new to you or something that you're picking up again after a long time, then then don't wait till it feels good because it's likely not. Don't wait till it feels right or that there's no nerves or there's no anxiousness because I find that very rarely happens. Don't even wait until you know more or you feel you're better equipped. 
be bold in Christ, trust him, step out and share who you are because of Christ. I'm nervous. I'd rather not. But if you can stand beside me, equally unsure and go anyway, then I think together with God's strength, we can start sharing the love of God with many, many people.